According to Statistics Korea, in 2019, 32.8% of Korean youth chose income as the most important factor they considered when choosing a job. Meanwhile, whether or not the job was worthwhile only mattered 4.2%. This is so depressing, isn't it? How has it come to be that to the youth of today, how much money they're going to earn is the main reason for deciding on their career? The light seems to be dimming on the youths of today whom we must depend on to lead the next generation. Here's a conversation I bet you've heard among students. Perhaps you've even spoken these words yourselves. These are words that I've heard over and over again all of last year when I was preparing for high school from my friends, teachers, parents, adults in general. Why do you want to go to this high school? Because I want to get into a good university. Why do you want to get into a good university? Because I want to get a good job. Well, why do you want to get a good job? So I can earn a lot of money. I want you all to close your eyes and just think about how you want to live in the future. Forget how much money you have. Just forget whether your test scores were good. Forget whether your job is stable. Just grab onto any crazy thought that comes into your mind, such as the breathtaking view you'll have from your penthouse on the 90th floor, how many dogs or cats you're going to have, the color of your trampoline in your backyard, and whether or not you're going to have chocolate syrup or whipped cream on your waffles for breakfast tomorrow. Now, open your eyes again. Tell me, was that not even a teeny tiny bit of fun? That, my friends, is called imagining. And it's what I believe is the greatest power the youth has. So, you might be thinking, but wasn't our imagination more creative when we were children? Yeah, sure. But back then, we used to believe in Santa Claus, pretended to be fairies and zombies, named our stuffed animals, and played make-believe games. Compared to when we were children, when we were little kids, we are now able to form our thoughts more constructively and can even build our future using our imagination. And honestly, we're even able to have a little bit of fun with it. I am a person who wished for magical powers as a Christmas present for five years in a row. I'm a person who used to play with Barbie dolls even until about a year ago, and the reason I stopped wasn't because I considered it childish, but because I had to focus on my studies. I'm a person who takes too long to fall asleep every night because I lie in bed wide awake, reminiscing all sorts of things from past relationships to childhood memories. I'm a person who can spend two hours daydreaming without getting bored. This kind of imagination only exists in the heart of the youth. How many adults around you have time to dream up tragic love stories and elaborate movie scenarios just by staring at ordinary everyday things like fallen petals or the morning sunrise? Or how many adults around you draw Mona Lisa in five different ways? or spend three hours rewriting fairy tales like Cinderella and Snow White from a different perspective in your own words. You might say that you don't have the time to do so either, but yes, you can make the time if it's something that you enjoy doing. My dream is to become an author. An author is not a job that guarantees you a lot of money or fame. 
The future of writers is uncertain. Who knows? Perhaps in a decade or so, books might all be considered old-fashioned because they would have been replaced by much cooler and more developed gadgets. But this doesn't stop me from imagining that I will be a best-selling author who ignites the spark of youth in their hearts and writes stories that touch all generations. Being able to imagine my future like this is what stirs my motivation to live my life to the fullest. It refreshes and strengthens my passion so that I can take a break to do what I love in the little time I can spare. And doing what you love, what you actually enjoy, is what I personally consider to be the most important factor in choosing one's path. I believe if you took a break from your marathon of life and made time to search for, imagine, and actually do things that you love, you might be able to reignite a hidden passion inside you. What our world needs is imagination. We live a fast-paced life in busy cities, flooded by the overflowing river of assignments, tests, homework, stressful human relations, health problems, and all sorts of simply terrifying circumstances that just make us want to go run and hide in the nearest sewer. The more drab and gray our world seems, the more colorful we should paint it. As Pablo Picasso said, Everything you can imagine is real. Don't set your limits without even trying. Don't helplessly climb into your boxes and shut the lid. We all should be able to dream what we want and do all we want. I have a favorite saying of mine. It's this. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. These beautiful words never fail to touch my heart every time I happen to come across them. My moon is to write to my heart's content. It's to write stories that touch all generations, to touch as many people as I can with the words that I pour out from my heart. Maybe I'll miss the moon, but that's okay. I'll still end up shining brightly among the stars somewhere up in the night sky. What is your moon? If you miss, don't worry. There are, three, there are 200 trillion stars in the night sky. Thank you.